Welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Oh, good morning. Thanks for another time here to pray. And we're leading ourselves with a word from Hebrews chapter 11. And we looked at verse uh, 6 yesterday. Today we'll look at verse 7. The seven here, we're focusing on Noah. You know, important thing about Noah here, the Bible says it equates faith to godly fear. Not fear, but godly fear, what we call reverence, right? The Bible says that Noah's faith was shown in his godly reverence, right? And Noah could have taken God's word for nothing, right? Which is what we see today, right? Everybody knows there's heaven, there's hell. But yeah, people choose to rather enjoy themselves now and couldn't be bothered about heaven or hell, right? A lot of people will give excuses. Nobody knows who's going to heaven. No. I mean, how can you say that? You know what you're doing and you're trying to quit yourself that nobody knows. It. So that's why you're spending your time not doing the right thing. What if you don't know? What if it, were, what if it is that it's true, there's hell and you have not prepared yourself? Is that is it when you meet the reality of hell that you're going to prepare yourself, right? The example we see is, is those two teams on the cross, right? One on the right, one on the left. You know, it just goes again to exemplify the fact that salvation is equal to grace and faith. Grace and faith. Grace is always available, right? But salvation will only result if a person brings the element of faith, right? One thief, one thief, or, 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 one thief did not have faith and went to hell. The other thief had faith and went to paradise, went to heaven, right? And that's it in every, every part of our lives, right? What we get from God is a function of what we meet grace with, right? Even only just today on Facebook, someone was sharing with me, oh, God does not exist because if God exists, poor people will not be suffering because of the mistake of safety people. Uh, that's not correct. Poor people are suffering because of the not having faith. They are living at the level of their faith. They are getting back what they are sowing. It has nothing to do with the leaders in the, in, in the country. It has nothing to do with the excuse of the environment. Everyone has a chance to raise the standard of living. All you have to do is exercise faith, exercise believe in a God that is bigger than your environment, a God that is not limited by where you are, a God that is not limited by your location, right? If you, if you, if you see God according to your location, you don't have faith. And you're just only going to get the reward, the recompense of the faith that you don't have, right? Unless you see God that is bigger than your environment, unless you see God as he is, you cannot get what God brings, right? Because don't forget, with God, all things are, in, are possible. With man, all things are possible, even only, if only he believes, right? The extent of possibility for a man is not God. The extent of possibility for a man is the extent of his belief. God is the unlimited. Man is limited to the extent to which he can believe, right? And his belief is dependent on the extent of his vision, Right, and man's belief is, is, is man's vision is limited by his belief. Man's belief is limited by his vision. The two of them go together. It doesn't matter where you start from. Right, what you see is what you believe. What you believe is what you see. Right, and when I use the word see here, I'm talking. I'm not talking about sight. I'm talking about vision. Right. So God has nothing to do with it. As far as God is concerned, He wants to give you everything, everything, unlimited. Right, but you're only going to get to the extent to which you can see, the extent to which you can see beyond the natural realm into the visible realm, to the extent to which you can see, to the extent to which your vision is, is the extent to which you will receive in the physical in the physical realm. You are limited by your belief. You are limited by your faith. Right? Same story we talked about Jesus Christ. The Bible said that he, he, he could not do much miracle right in his home in his hometown. Why? Because of the belief of the people. Their own belief limited the grace that they brought to, 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 to that town, right? The people could only receive to the extent to which they could believe, the extent to which they could see, 